I'm here to bring you the top five features of the Power BI December 2018 update. Number one is an update on one of the most promising Power BI features, but number five shows you the depth of Power BI capabilities. So make sure you watch till the end. At the end of this video, you will also be able to access the complete playlist covering the highlights of all the Power BI monthly updates. And as you watch this video, let me know which one was your favorite feature in this update or your favorite feature released in 2018. Just leave a comment down below. My name is Avi Singh. I'm a Microsoft MVP and a best-selling Power BI author. And if you would like to become a Power BI Pro, make sure to hit subscribe and click that bell so you are notified whenever I go live to answer your Power BI questions. Let's start with the number one feature, Live Connect support for Q&A. Now, Q&A is, is one of the most promising features in Power BI. It's really kind of the, the future of the Jetsons, of us traveling around in jetpacks, of just being able to ask your data questions in natural language. Now, this is an evolving feature, and this feature is the next step in that. Let me show you what this feature update is about. Now, the Q&A feature has been around for a long time, and again, it asks you or anybody using the data model to ask questions in a natural language, uh, show me sales by department, uh, show me sales for prior year, whatever, however humans would communicate, they can just type in the question, and if the model has been tuned correctly, then it, it gives you, uh, you know, really good responses and at least should be able to answer uh, the top 10 or the most frequently asked questions uh, easily just by using natural language. Now, uh, however, the new feature, it brings that capability to live connect models. So live connect models are where you connect directly to an SSAS model and that's what we have over here. You can see in the corner over here that this is a a live connect model that means I'm just connected to SSAS you can see that there's no uh, data model or data table relationship view here this is a live connect model now what a live connect allows me to do is to access the, the model and build any visualization while connected to that model but uh, 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 as of now, well, the ask a question, the Q&A capability you can see is grayed out. That's what's changing in this release. And all you have to do is turn this feature on by going into the preview features. This is a preview feature right now. Once it goes to general availability, then you would not have to do it. But right now, just go in here, enable Q&A Live Connect, hit OK, and it is going to require a restart. But I'm going to show you what it looks like after the restart. So I'm going to ask for my sales. And now it finds a few different references, but I can select and point it to the right one. So now it's showing me the total sales. And I can say, well, what about a specific category? Sales uh, uh, for, how about bikes? And, uh, uh, you know, let me help it again. So 15 million, and I can say by, uh, let's say, country. There we go. It's also helping me with the typing and let me help it a little bit again and now it's showing as a map and I can say uh, I would like to see as a bar chart clearly it helps if I can if you can type <laughs> correctly so there you go and and you you saw that this wasn't quite the perfect experience because this model hasn't been tuned yet for Q&A and that's my best tip for you if you're looking to leverage natural language Q&A for your model if you want your end users to be able to freely just type in a question and ask it's always best to tune your model look for the most frequently asked questions and make sure that the model can easily interpret and answer them uh, another tip is that you can have a regular model and sometimes regular models can get really really big uh, I had models with 50 or even a hundred tables it's better off to build a separate model based on that model and this new model is only tuned to answer Q&A queries uh, so those are the some approaches you can use to leverage Q&A but now you have Q&A available for live connect models let's cover the number two and number three the number two is about smart guides for aligning objects and this is going to be really really useful uh, for building reports and going to speed things up and this is something which is available in other such design tools like PowerPoint of course and now 
in Power BI as you are adding new elements you can see as I'm dragging this it's showing me lines to align this with the other elements and it shows up when you're dragging something it also shows up when you're resizing it so you can see I can resize it perfectly to align with other elements so yeah this is gonna be super cool and handy the next feature is the DAX formula bar updates and let me show that to you so here if you click on a measure then you can uh, click on the arrow over here uh, right in this corner to expand this to make it almost full screen so if you have a really large DAX formula you can see that uh, you know in, in its entirety um, now uh, what I would caution is that often not always but often when people write really long formulas they're not doing something right now I would I would share two tips with you one is that make sure you don't do any any kind of data cleanup clean shape transform in DAX leave that to the query editor which is the kitchen of Power BI that's where you should do all of your clean shape transform and in DAX build things step by step and that's a great approach rather than building one complex formula and, and if you want to learn more I'm going to link to my getting started Power BI tutorial at the end of this video which is going to go show you a step-by-step -step approach another minor update in the DAX formula bar is that you can click on it and you can I think uh, I'm going to use my mouse wheel so you can't quite see it but I'm holding my control button down and using my mouse wheel and you can see I can zoom in or zoom out of the measure and of course this is going to be handy for me when I'm showing you these measures and then I can zoom in and you can see that uh, in a little bit larger font rather than the small font that it starts with so yeah really neat feature now if you're anything like me you're gonna love this next one which is an updated keyboard shortcut dialog now I almost get angry at my son when I see that he's not using alt tab to switch windows so I'm going to alt tab back to uh, power bi and show you the keyboard shortcut dialog box and you invoke it using shift and question mark so I'm going to hit shift and question mark and uh, there you go so it, it's a list of handy shortcuts and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using some of these pretty soon and you have a link to to uh, get more details on other keyboard shortcuts as well the number five feature on our December 2018 update list is something that shows you the depth of Power BI capabilities. So let me just show you. So this one is about fuzzy merge and supporting uh, for top and best matches. But uh, let me show that to you in a demo. So here we have in, in a file, uh, we have a, a people database with first names and we have sales data coming in which just has a salesperson name it doesn't have their ID so, and 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 you can see that uh, you know sometimes it's uh, it, it's the case it's not uh, it's like a different case W is lowercase uh, bill is spelled as Billy so yeah the names are not perfect maybe they were entered by hand who knows what right so we're getting some data we don't always have control of our data that's input but that's where something like fuzzy merge can help you so I'm going to jump into to our query editor and I'm here in my sales data and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a merge merge queries and I'm gonna invoke the fuzzy merge option so merge queries I want to merge this with the people data I'm gonna match the salesperson with the first name but this is where I'm gonna check this box to use the fuzzy matching so I'm gonna check that box and in here I'm gonna expand the fuzzy merge and actually I'm just gonna hit OK for now uh, so it did the merge for me and now I can expand that table table now what I would like you to notice here is that I have five sales transaction obviously this is dummy data but that makes it easier for me to show you what's happening in this data now what happens with fuzzy merge is sometimes uh, Bill will William I mean they can end up with more than one matches which it thinks is reasonably correct now you're gonna see that when I expand this table so if I expand to see the ID and the first name then you notice that the number of rows goes up and that's because some of them match more than one so bill the salesperson name matched the sales uh, the people uh, data set with Bill and Will as well and and same with Will uh, William only match one so you, you see that it, it's not what we wanted I mean in a very rare scenario we would want to see two matches so what I'm gonna do is go back to my merge query dialog box and this is the new feature in this one where I can say 
that uh, I only want to match a maximum of one matches because that's that's uh, kind of what makes sense in this scenario. I'm going to hit OK and we're going to see the results that we get. So I'm going to go to the next step and notice now that I only get five rows. So it gives you more control. But really the key message here is you see what the Microsoft Power BI team is doing. They're combining all the strengths that Microsoft ha has on a stable with this artificial intelligence and Azure and uh, speech recognition, natural language recognition, and bringing it all the th to the table and easily accessible through this portal. Um, you, you know, you talk about the gateway drug. The gateway drug to BI is Power BI now, and if you ask me, the signs indicate that it's going to be, it's already is pretty unstoppable. So those were the top five features in the Power BI December 2018 monthly update. I would love to hear from you. What was your favorite feature? You can access the complete playlist of the highlights of all the recent monthly updates by following the links up there or down in the description below. Uh, again, leave a comment. Let me know what, was, what your favorite feature was in this monthly update or from 2018. Uh, overall. On the other hand, if you feel overwhelmed by these near constant updates, you're like, oh my gosh, how do I keep up? I want to remind you, my friend, that less is more. It, this is, is nice. It's always a uh, you know, good thing to see new, new features being rolled out, but it's really the 80-20 rule. It's the 20% of the core concepts that are going to give you the 80% of the results and that's what I cover in my course and you can get started on that by accessing my uh, uh, free tutorial available on YouTube right here and we're gonna link that uh, up there and in the description as well. Hey, keep watching more videos and keep learning Power BI. But if you did enjoy this video, I would love to hear from you. So leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Power on my friends.